pew pew. <laughs> Consider it done. Hi, I am Shane with the Drum Center of Portsmouth in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. We are the largest drum store in the world, and all the drums and cymbals that you are going to see in the video today are available for purchase in the links below. Welcome to part two of the ultimate Sonar SQ2 shootout. If you haven't seen part one of the SQ2 shootout video, we highly encourage you to check that out because we compared six different shell types, thin, medium, and heavy. In this video, we will be comparing the seven remaining shell types, including all three vintage shells and the acrylic model, the X-Ray. Like the first video, all the drum sets are gonna have the same configuration. The finish we chose for these is the beautiful African marble veneer, semi-gloss finish, absolutely gorgeous. And of course, the acrylic X-ray model is going to be clear. Also like the first video, we will be using just one snare drum, which is the beautiful, iconic Artist Bronze series, now with an updated badge. If African marble isn't your thing, or these sizes aren't your thing, head on over to our website, because at present moment, we have over 30 SQ2 kits in stock. It's crazy. We've got anything from 18-inch bass drums up to 26-inch bass drums. Chances are there's going to be a set there that's going to speak to you. In the first part of this video, we're going to play each drum set in two different tunings. After that, we'll play every drum from every shell type back to back in the ultimate head-to-head -head comparison. Before we get started, allow me to remind you to please click that subscribe button. This really helps us when you do that and click that bell so you get notified when we post new videos like this. When it comes to drum shells, there are certain things that we've been told or led to believe in terms of what difference the wood or the thickness make in the sound. So what do these different materials sound like? Well, from what we've been told, maple is a warmer, rounder, fuller sound. Birch is a bit brighter and has a scoop down mid-range. Beech is probably the flattest sounding in terms of its EQ curve, so it has more mid-range and it's a little bit less aggressive and hyped. The X-ray acrylic shells have full body tone with dominant low and high frequencies. Does this translate? Well, there's subtle differences, and that's super important to note. You will notice that, especially as the drums get bigger in diameter, the differences become a little bit more noticeable. For instance, I don't think that any of the kick drums sounded similar at all. Those actually sounded quite a bit different to me. But, like the 10s and the 12s, you're going to hear it, but you're gonna to have to use good headphones or good speakers to really fully appreciate the subtle differences. Sonar offers thin, medium, heavy, and vintage. Vintage shells are an exceptionally thin four millimeter with two millimeter reinforcement rings. The thin shell is a five millimeter thickness. The medium is six, and the heavy is eight millimeters thick. If you take the thin shell, you're gonna have a more open and more sustaining tone, whereas the heavy shell is a bit more straight, direct, and focused and the sustain is gonna be a lot shorter overall. Where you really notice the difference between a thin and a heavy shell, especially, is on the floor toms. When you get into a thicker shell floor tom, what you'll notice is that the sound is a little bit more narrow, the low end is tighter, and it's not quite as resonant. It has a very controlled, contained sound, and that could be great, or maybe not what you want. One more thing I forgot to mention. The thin shell version of these kits have medium thickness bass drums. Sonar does not make a thin bass drum, they only make a medium or a vintage, and these have the medium.
busy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, this place is so big. I got lost. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Can you tell me where the bathroom is? Oh, sure thing. Um, just go right down the stairs. And... Can somebody get this guy the hell out of here? Come on. Come on. Yeah. Hi, Frank.
effort to make sure that we give you the best chance of hearing these differences and so that we could understand the differences as well, it was an extremely exhaustive process of tuning all of these drums as accurately and as consistently as possible. We used the same heads on top and bottom for each drum, clear ambassadors top and bottom, which by the way, if you want to test to see how good you are at tuning, try tuning 16 inch floor toms with very thin shells, with clear ambassadors as low as they go, and make sure that they match with all six kits exactly the same. That's hard. The bass drums come with a clear Remo Power Stroke 3 on the batter and a fiber skin Power Stroke 3 on the resonant. There were 65 drums in total. We did two tunings for the playing portion and a third tuning for the head to head portion. So that's 195 different tunings in all. Trying to make them all extremely accurate. For the miking, uh, the full kit, the high and the low tuning, is the miking setup that I use for virtually all of the DCP videos. All of those microphones will be in the description below. As for the head-to-head -head portion, I wanted to get a more organic and truthful sound that really zeroes in on the detail so you have the best chance of hearing all of these differences. So for that, I ended up with two microphones about 16 inches away from the center of the head for all of the toms. I have the Earthworks SR25 and the Audix A133. It just sounded great together, so it worked out. No muffling on the kick drums for the head-to-head -head portion. Two microphones placed completely by ear, so walked around, listened to what sounded the best, and put the mics there, and it was that easy.
This video has been a monumental undertaking, to say the least. I, I really can't overstate that. The amount of work that goes in uh, to make sure everything is as accurate as possible is, it, it's just very intense. So hats off to the team here, Tony and Adam, for really uh, busting their butts to, to put this together to create what we consider to be the ultimate resource for you. And that is the mission. We want you to be able to make the best informed decision that you can so that when you do decide to pull the trigger on an SQ2 kit, we hope that you'll consider us as your source for that. We hope you enjoyed this video and thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and also click that notification so that you get notified when we post new videos like this. We've got plenty of more videos on the way. Thank you so much for the support.